We're on. All right. Hello, world of the internet. Welcome to the Monday, 19th August, 2019 Documentation and Developer UX Task Force Tiger Team Group. I am Jessica, your unofficial co-host for today's endeavor. If you would like to follow along with us at a later date, please do so in the meeting notes that are available in the calendar invitation or in our repo. Hooray! Um, if y'all want to add your names, as I see some of the participants doing to the participants list, that would be magnificent. And then I think um, I don't have any outstanding overarching staff. Does anyone else have anything other than mourning the sad loss of Diogo at the end of the week to move on to bigger, better things? Um, that we wish to not better, just or, different. Just <laughs> different. Yeah. In the grand and ridiculous tradition of PL, I'm not gonna ask anybody to sing, but let's all y'all take off your take off your mutes and like clap and stuff. So yay! <laughs> <laughs> and cry loudly if so inclined. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit embarrassed on set. <laughs> Thank you, Diego, for doing all the wonderful things. Holy crap. Get a unicorn award. Ooh. Well, that's I so cool. Want to know. <laughs> well, I decapitated unicorn. I mean, like, it's fashion, right? I, I don't know. It is, it's something. Sweet. That's super cool. Um, so, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't have anything other than just checking in on our OKRs. Um, thanks to everybody who updated the OKRs, um, the mid-quarter scoring, actually, I'll, I'll toss that into this agenda as well while we're talking, just for the sake of grins and permanent records and stuff. Um, so, oh, I guess the first one of these is mine. Um, content audit. So, um, unfortunately, like, doing the results analysis on this is going to be deprioritized a bit due to um, having lost Portia and needing to stay ramped up on the hiring effort. Um, I did, however, go through the vast number of candidates for um, the file for imposition, which I'll get to in a sec. So that's good. But I do have it on my on my radar um, as, as soon as I can get around to it to look through the um, audit document that we've inherited and sift through for some results gathering, some next steps and stuff like that. That is not something that demands any sort of super skill powers that I possess. So if anybody else wants to get in on this party, um, that could actually also be a, a fun collaborative exercise. Um, you know, that, that could be something if we wanted to actually just like group and discuss on um, one of these days, that would also be quite cool if, if our schedules permit. So maybe noodle over that and um, we can think about maybe, maybe whether we want to take that approach. Um, Docs platform features inventory. I know that we're does, – does anybody have any, um, any feedback on this other than the fact that like I just keep seeing like HackMD notes have been changed as we've been adding things to, to the features list. I know, Eric, you added something about accessibility this morning. I think this is just we're continuing to plug away on that. Anyone has anything else? This is probably, like, it, as you say, we're collecting the inventory. And uh, once we know more, then we'll look at that as a big audit and review. So um, I think we'll just keep, keep it in check and keep coming back to it. Yeah, and I think in terms of in terms of OKR progress, I mean, our idea was to assemble, and I, I think we should do a ranking exercise, definitely. Um, you know, as we get closer to the end of the quarter, um, and time box, like let's make sure we have all our thoughts in there by the end of the quarter that, that we can that we can rank and prioritize close to the end. If that sounds like a good plan for everybody. Yeah, absolutely. Because we can't deliver all at once, but. Uh... <laughs> The dream is there. So I think what would be helpful now is probably linking that document into this um, yeah. URL as well. So it's in there. Yeah, Eric, do you have that URL handy? Since you were, you probably still have that window open from this morning. <laughs> yeah, let's drop it in afterwards. We can come back to this, and I think we'll. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Eric. Peace. Patience. I found it. I found it. Thank you. Limited time. All right. Chris, that's you. Oh, yes. The, the documentation platform. So um, I didn't get as much time as I'd hoped last week to, to really dig into this, but I, I have managed to take uh, 
um, a, a stab at moving two parts from uh, from the, the original or current documentation into Docusaurus. So I've managed to get a V1 and a V2 alpha branch running uh, with some base documentation. Um, why don't I show you the, the screen so you can see some things? Because uh, we all like pixels, right? Uh, so ooh, let me move over. So I'll skip over that one for now. So current documentation site. So I just looked at the, see if we could migrate basically the entire documentation tree from uh, this current repo into what would be a document source v1. Um, I managed to do that pretty easily. Um, so this would be the rough layout of what that would be so far. Um, and then you end up with your sort of table of contents navigation on the right hand side. Um, not sure whether how much more we can customize all this yet. So uh, this is just a very simple sort of like skinning exercise to get that in. Um, some some weird things that I don't particularly know whether we can override yet about DocuSaurus is it's basically an entire website platform with embedded documentation and blogging built in. So you end up with a homepage that you, we are really realistically not gonna be using because um, uh, we obviously have a separate website for this. So uh, I've been doing some research to try and figure out whether or not we can essentially either just reroute or disable that part um, if we wanna just take advantage of the, the many features that we get for free with DocuSaurus. Um, and then uh, started to spin up the V2 branch, which is, this is basically the current layout for what will be uh, DocuSaurus V2. And of course you get a high a light, a light and dark mode, which is you know very trendy right now. Um, also very good for accessibility, when I, or read it very, very late at night. Um, so uh, this I haven't used or put any of the IPFS branding or content in yet. I'm just trying to get it, get it uh, loaded side by side to see whether or not we can create, if we do decide to go for a DocuSaurus, uh, platform how easy it will be to port some of the content that we put into this across to a v2 because uh, it's essentially a full rewrite of the, of the platform so there's going to be a lot of breaking changes so it, it seems um, a bit fruitless to make that big effort right now migrate into a v1 and then have another a big push later on so um, yeah we're getting somewhere with that um, just reading through some of the technical specs as you say they've got a big disclaimer saying this is currently in alpha um, and you know if you're expecting to create a production ready then you should use docusaurus v1 um, and you, you know we like we like running on alphas it's fine we can <laughs> we can do it for a bit so depending on the time scales for how we will be delivering this platform along with the features um, and then with the priority list, then we'll start to make a bit more of a plan to see where it overlaps with us taking the risk of going towards um, just working with V2 branch um, or whether we can create some of those pieces uh, or create some of the, um, uh, the deliverables out of that ourselves in, in a different platform. So um, that's currently where we're at. I'm still adding new things into here as I find them. And another one I discovered today was uh, uh, this docu doc doc doxify, I'll say it. Uh, doxify, I guess. Um, uh, and it's it's a bit more basic, but it's also got a very nice sort of uh, uh, offline search index, so you can actually do this offline. Um, and uh, after exploring some of the feature, the, the, the upcoming features in Docusaurus, there's also uh, one of the top priority features is offline search as well. So. Um, uh, I think there's going to be a lot of things coming this way, and it might be it might make sense for us to prioritize to contribute towards uh, the project itself. So, um, but my plan is really this week uh, to, as I've written in here, is to focus mainly um, from tomorrow to Thursday on trying to flesh out some of the build here, see what the limitations are, what it's actually like to deploy, and um, whether or not we can um, we can sort of get a baseline feature set and um, deliverables with the current platform that's there now. So. Uh, to be continued, um, but I hope to have a better conclusion than in this week. Um, while I'm here, should I quickly mention the other PR, which is the um, the quiz that we've been working on? So this is essentially ready for a review now. Um, the new homepage that's kind of there's a little gift there to show you how it works. Uh, got all the content in that was populated from last week. Um, this now has uh, event tracking all the way through from the, the funnels from getting started through to whichever selection you make and then we can start to find um, basically what, uh, what what bucket we are we expecting people to kind of self-select into. Um, there's new profile set up for that, there's the Google Web Search Console to, to log in um, so we can start to monitor those pieces. What My one major request here is just to 
basically get your hands on, have a play with it, make sure you're okay with the, the language and the copy that we've, we've selected so far. Um, and then we'll do a little bit of testing just to make sure it's okay. And I think we can, we can probably push this out very soon, um, maybe later this week if everyone's happy and continue to iterate on that as well. Um, so that is where I'm up to so far. Uh, can I back up to the DocuSource thing with two quick questions? Oh, yes. Yeah. Sorry if I missed hands. I couldn't uh, see you. Sorry. I was just waving my arms around, like, frantically. Um, <laughs> I don't have a unicorn like you do. Um, yeah. Any uh, Is there any timeline from the DocuSource community about, like, how long it'll be before they get out of alpha for that release? It's, it's quite, uh, I don't really understand what the development process is right now. It seems to be people are chipping away at ad hoc. There's no real fixed doc, uh, timeline or roadmap. Um, there's certainly no OKRs I can find so far. So I mean, maybe I need to dig a bit deeper, find out where they're actually, uh, everyone's communicating. So there's the, like the blog post is kind of stale and they haven't been posted and updated since last year. So um, there I think there's some hope. I can see activity on GitHub, which is reassuring. And there was an alpha release 26 days ago. So um, there is still things in progress. It's just I'm not really sure how far away it is. And to be honest, like the, the full feature release is more of a like-for-like -like replacement of what's currently there. We may not need all those fe that feature parity to start with. So it could be that actually it does what we want better than the current version to start with. And then we've got this progressive roadmap to say, actually, when we need to turn these things on, we can. Um, sure. But the, the, the biggest the biggest bonuses are the themeability and the, and the, and the plugability of the current new version is way better and integrate, integrates in, integrates with MDX as well, so you can do nice React component uh, documentation as well. Um, so there's there's some fun things, but obviously I don't want to get carried away with all the with bang shiny features because it's more about delivering value here. So yeah, awesome. yeah pay for shiny. <laughs> and I, the other question was, it looked like you had that like hosted on an internal domain of yours. Is that something you've comfortable sharing with us on, with, with the idea being that like it could vanish or whatever at any time just so that we can play around in it. Sorry, no, no. I broke up the first, the no, first question. It's like, um, it looked like you had that hosted on like a, some personal domain of yours. Are, are you comfortable sharing that? No being an acceptable answer? No, no, that's fine. Like this is actually just running local host. So I think the no. best way to do this would be to basically publish the repo uh, into okay. some, into maybe somewhere public, but I wouldn't want to put it onto the, um, uh, scrapyard yet. So. No, no, no big deal. I just, it just, I was just looking at your menu bar and I wasn't sure. It looked, it looked like. It Don't worry. Like, yeah. Like I think somewhere. If we can round up later on this week, then I come up with a bit of plan for how I can get people involved. Because I think it's going to be. Uh, I, I want to get feedback and I want to make sure that we're able to um, <laughs> get able to uh, to do this um, as soon as possible. Hi, Alan. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, yeah. Uh, regarding the quiz, awesome. Thank you. That looks amazing. Um, I think this is a good time to, if if I I am very loath to delay anything, uh, getting live, but I think it would behoove us to gather some kind of a group, ad hoc, official, virtual, in real life, whatever, of testers. So. Um, it looks like it's in a pretty testable form right now, just in terms of just standard usability stuff and what do people expect and what do these four things mean to you and um, something else. What would you expect to see when you're clicking something else? Um, and I've, I've had no response from usability.com, so, uh, which is weird. From usertesting.com? Usertesting.com, yeah. 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 That is weird. That's super weird. Uh, just an automated one. So I am very uh, open to moving on to anyone. Anyway. And, and Jessica, you had good thoughts about, you know, engaging just IPFS users. Um, if that could be done quickly, you know, like just, hey, raise your hand, click click a thumbs up on this on this uh, comment if you want to, um, if you, if you want to help us test and then boom, tomorrow. You know, the next day, whatever we just put something. Should we do a round robin with a few people at PL to start with? Um, if we, I don't know if anyone's interested, but we could uh, see if we can rope a few people in and just do a, an internal one and then uh, an external one as well. Yeah. Yeah. But the danger of, of of using internal, and and in fact, using you know IPFS users is is putting you know 
guide guardrails on on their comments and on in, um, you know, they could have an, an incredibly rich uh, you know they could be an incredibly rich font of of comments and wisdom, but we need to just fit, um, get really specific usability related notes. Um, I think is going to be what gets us to launch. May, um, my suggestion on this, and feel free to say that this is totally bogus, um, would be that we actually that we actually ship the thing um, because that is a sort of proto test for our persona validation as well, which is another thing that we want to talk about testing with the wider community. Um, my suggestion would be that we actually ship the thing and we post to discourse saying. Hey, as you may or may not be aware, we're working on revamping docs. This is a very, this is a very initial first step of things that are going to follow. Please click through to this, leave the thoughts in the forum. We can engage depending on, you know, we'll, we'll have to set ourselves up for trolling clearly. Um, but, um, but also to, uh, if we want to do one-on-one -on -one longer conversations with folks who respond in discourse, that also gives us a means of contacting them and setting up some some quick calls. Um, Chris, um, I can yeah, I'd agree with that. Actually, it's kind of reminded me that um, there was one ask I had from from the quiz, which is uh, for basically scoping for additional feedback. Um, whether I think we should create a new thread in the help form uh, to say that, you know, anything else, please go here. So the last option on the quiz will basically direct people there. Um, so the last decision to be made is whether or not we choose to direct people to initial key, issue, issue queue and or to uh, the discourse forum. And I've written a comment in the, the current thread just to explain the, uh, like the, what my thoughts are around that, whether or not we um, create a bit of a barrier to entry by pushing them to the forum if they don't have accounts, et cetera. Um, so yeah, I want to, don't want to take up all the call, but maybe we should round up about that afterwards. I would I would disagree with you, Jessica, and I think that, I think the usability issues are way they're 180 degrees different from the kind of things we're trying to uh, learn from the test. And having a just free form feedback is is not going to give us um, really. It, it's not going to tend to give us the useful kind of um, information that will help us make the quiz results really actionable. Okay. I think the testing um, is a must for everything we do. Sure, sure. And I'm um, totally sick of it, of it not happening at all at IPFS. I think that you know, if you troll around IPFS um, PRs, it's, it's remarkable. Um, people pull, this is soapbox time. I won't take more than a minute, but. <laughs> The tendency is because people have the a lot of these these people have amazing minds and they can actually make the the thing that they think of that they that they concoct and so they they do it and it's actually built and the first time it's put out in front of anyone is often when it's a PR um, as opposed you know and and so thing I think a lot of time is wasted and and things get launched because people don't have time to review. Um, and they're just like, yeah, it looks good. It, it feels a little incrementally better, maybe. Um, and consequently, the the it's not really volitional in general, and it's not it's not at the end of the day user centered. It's it's the developer's idea of a user centered. Sure. Yeah. No. I mean that 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 completely makes sense. I think my concern is more the recruitment of users. If we're if we're not oh, yeah, it's, if we're not getting folks that's the from problem. If you're not getting anything from usability from, from usertesting.com, um, I'm just saying that we've got a ready user base available in the forums. I'm not saying we get a completely free form discussion. We can ask them very specific questions, um, depending on how we how we phrase the discuss topic. And then actually, I mean, we could link them out to a you know, to a survey in the discuss topic or so forth, where we're asking them very specific questions. But I think in terms of actually getting a hold of the people that you're going to test that is our quickest win at this point. And considering that you know, we're all extremely short on time, I would say using that as, you know, these are people who have widely varying familiarity with IPFS. Um, you know, if you've been looking on the forums, you can see um, that the, the range of knowledge is, is all over the map. Um, and as an initial test bed for something like this, um, you know, that, that gets us pretty far. Um, but, but I think exactly right, we should, 
um, we should be a little bit more formal and regimented about the questions that we're asking, but also give them you know, the option to, if people, if people do want to have some more free form discussion, that gives us folks that we can contact later to talk about personas with as well. Does that make more sense? Um, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. I mean, my assumption would be that if the goal is to do individual interviews with them, you don't want them to look at the thing before you get on the call with them. So that your first thing would be to say, hey, does anybody want to get on a call and do this interview with Eric or whomever wants to conduct them? Sure, get the volunteers, fine. have them see it for the first time there. That's fine, but that is going to blow out our schedule into another four to six weeks before we actually launch the quiz. And I think I will, I would push back on that four to six weeks. And you know, I think we can do eight or 10. I could do a day of, of, uh, of walking people through, Hey, share your screen, blah, blah, blah. For, for the sake of, for the sake of keeping us on task, um, we should table this for a, for an additional meeting. Um, and Sorry, yeah. so, um, Eric, do you want to schedule that meeting for, for later on in the week so that we can make sure I, you know, ideally probably tomorrow so that we can get talking about this ASAP. This might also be worth Chris presenting on the design call on Wednesday because there are a few people there who aren't here who might have suggestions for us. Yep, I'm very open to that saying uh, I would, in my mind, set a deadline for when we're going to put this live and it's going to go live regardless of that state and then we'll just keep all this feedback incoming and keep iterating yeah. and moving forward. So um, that way we don't delay it, but we also, we also create a bit of space to have some input. Um, but yeah, let's let's continue down the list. Harry, credit school. Yeah, uh, we're plugging away. Our biggest thing that we've been working on is still the Countly. So we've done a few things, including fixing the domain. So now, if you're using Explorer and you have the like no cross-site tracking thing clicked, which is the default, it will work. Um, we're working through a little buggy thing right now. Diogo is trying to figure out what's going on so that we can merge our PR that has the event tracking, um, which we've talked about in the past. Um, Diego also set it up so we, so when we're testing, it's not going to affect the real results. We have like a test account for the metrics and a real one, and it knows whether you're on localhost basically as it does that. Um, and then we started a brainstorming doc. One of the tasks that I hope to get to this quarter is just taking a quick survey of other online coding platforms and what they're using under the hood, just in case there's a solution out there that would work with IPFS validation that's like more fully featured so that we can just make a no-go like, yes, we need to keep building our own custom solution or no, we could integrate an existing thing. So there's a Google doc there if anyone wants to throw ideas in. Um, I won't be getting started on that for a while because it's lower priority than some other pieces. Um, and then I also started adding some kind of ped pedagogical tips for tutorial authors. So I think that's the bulk of the latest stuff. Is there something else that I missed, Diego? Uh, no, yeah, that's the bulk of it. The highest priority. Yeah. And Diego is going to be knocking out a lot of stuff from our issue Q before he leaves. So finishing up the Cantley and then um, knocking out a bunch of different things that we have that aren't in the OKRs directly, but are things that have been sitting in our in our bugs, all that kind of under the hood stuff that we can crank out. Yeah, there's some house cleaning. Great. Um, I think that leaves, yeah, I did list the hot fixes that we were able to implement in the last week in the um, meeting document. Um, hiring continues um, for the sake of confidentiality of candidates. I won't get into discussion in this meeting, but um, things are progressing. Um, it is still taking up a vast amount of time, unfortunately. Um, we are um, starting to I'm starting to move through the folks who um, had applied for the Filecoin docs role, um, and if, if obviously some of those folks prove fruitful, we can talk about the possibilities um, as appropriate of considering people for both roles. Um, and then additionally, we're having a meeting on Wednesday to talk through the persona and um, to brainstorm on ideas for testing for that. Um, anybody else have anything that I missed? The one thing I forgot to mention is uh, we, finish up our mid-quarter scoring for proto school. So 
it's much like I kind of split things out into docs related and non docs related as I looked at it and we've been hitting the docs stuff first. So we look much better when we just look at that than when we look at non doc stuff for lagging behind um, and we don't expect with you know, having our capacity at the end of this week, we don't expect to get through the proto school stuff. And I am very open to external con contributors. So anyone should feel free to reach out if they would like to help do any proto school stuff. Awesome. And the link to your um, to your sheet is within the main OKR score sheet, which is at the very top of the notes for this document. Um, fantastic. Um, we should be able to wrap up on time then. Um, Eric, um, thank you for scheduling that meeting um, about putting together a formal test plan. Um, you are out on Wednesday, so yeah, if we can if we can chat about that on Tuesday and start putting it that into place, that's um, probably ought to be ought to be a priority for this week so that we can actually get this thing launched on time. So. Um, Terry, enjoy your vacation next week. And is anybody, anybody else, anything else we need to, to get? I think we're good. Okay. Terry, thank you so much for uploading the YouTube video. Thank you all very much. We shall see you next week, same time, same station. Thank you. Bye. Bye.